Welcome to Mama G's Family Farm. Please follow and hit the like button. Hey there, YouTube. Today, I am going to make a very simple, easy detox tea that I like to drink all the time. You can drink it hot, warm. I drink it warm at night before bed. Um, and I like to drink it cold during the day. I put ice in it and I just sip on it. And it's very refreshing. It has a lot of great anti-inflammatory properties, um, detox properties. It helps with weight loss. So let's get into it. All right, so it's made with three simple ingredients, lemons, cinnamon, and ginger. So I have three lemons that I'm gonna cut up. I have a piece, nice piece of ginger here and um, fresh ginger, and then three cinnamon sticks. Okay, so basically it's gonna go by taste. I love lemon, so I have extra lemon. People that like less lemon do just two lemons, and then depending on how much you like ginger, that determines how much ginger you put in. Normally I put, you saw the size of the piece, I put about half of that, um, and then I saved this piece and I actually grate it up and add it in later. The more ginger, the better. Ginger is very good for anti-inflammatory properties. And then, of course, cinnamon. All right, so here I have my water boiling. I always bring my water to a boil first. I'm gonna throw in my cinnamon sticks, my lemon, my ginger. I'm gonna go ahead and add it all in here. And then I'm gonna boil this for 20 minutes. I'm gonna turn it down and boil it at a medium roll, 20 minutes. Okay, I got it down on a medium heat. I'm gonna cover it, cook it for 20 minutes. While that cooks, let's talk about the benefits of this tea. So as you all know, lemons, they're high in vitamin C and antioxidants, which is great for you. Um, helps with immunity and things like that. Um, ginger, it's great for, vi for digestion. Um, it helps aid in digestion. It helps get rid of nausea. It's great for people with IBS. Um, it's also an anti-inflammatory, which is great for people with arthritis or any type of inflammatory in your body, whether it's from infection, injury, or um, chronic um, back issues, all those um, Things if you have swelling in your legs and ankles, anything anti-inflammatory like the ginger helps with that. Um, cinnamon is great for your metabolism, helps burn um, fat, gives you energy. So together, these are all great. Now I like it just as it is. If you want, you can add honey to sweeten it a little bit. Of course, your local honey will help you with any um, allergies or local things, especially in the summer and spring seasons. Um, so yeah, it has a lot of great, amazing uh, properties. While I'm waiting for that, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare my glass here for my warm beverage. So I like to take the leftover ginger and I just grate a little bit of that. I like to put some of that in there. The more ginger I can get, the better. I love it. It has a little bit of spice to it. So if you're if you're not used to that little bite from the ginger, I would suggest not using too much. Then I also wanna have a little bit of lemon zest in there. I like lemon zest. So I have a lemon, just gonna create a little bit of lemon zest as well. To my cup. And I am going to cut me a piece of this lemon. I have a couple slices in there. Hopefully with no seeds. Seeds are always an issue, right? When you're trying to have any type of citrus, the seeds make it difficult. But without those seeds, I guess we run out of citrus, right? Okay, so take that. And I am going to add 
my one cinnamon stick in here. Ta-da! All right, so after 20 minutes, I remove it from the stove and then I strain it. This smells so amazing. It reminds me of the holidays, actually. That, I guess it's probably the cinnamon. But anyways, I'm gonna pour my hot cup of tea here. And then with this, I'm gonna put it in jars and put it in the fridge so I can drink iced tea later or tomorrow. And this will keep in the refrigerator for at least a week, but it won't last that long. And these, I just put the lids on, fingertip tight, because I don't want them to seal, just barely. And this will keep in the fridge, like I said, for about five to seven days, at least a week. Won't last that long at this house, but I love it. Okay. Mm, so good, guys. Again, like I said, if you like it sweet, you can always add a little bit of honey. Um, I love it just like this. Sometimes for a change of pace, I'll add a little honey. But enjoy. Stay healthy. It's also great ice. I love the little bits of uh, lemon zest and ginger. Mm. So refreshing. Mm. Gotta try it iced. To me, iced is better, but I like cold beverages. When I don't feel well, I'll drink it hot. Or at night, right before bed, it helps me relax. And it travels well.